Hey there, it's Bobby Legs, and welcome to another episode of Bobby Legs Loves Watches. Recently, I put out a State of the Collection video, a January State of the Collection for 2022, where I did a video itemization of my digital watches and my mechanical watches and the stories behind them. Inevitably, what I realized in this video, and it's happened in the last couple of State of Collection videos, I find that I have actually, within that collection, a great three-piece collection. Now, we always talk about having a great three-piece collection, or at least we see a lot of videos of uh, content creators uh, saying what their perfect three-watch collection would be. Now, this is a little bit different. This is a three-watch collection within my collection, uh, basically saying that if I had to get rid of all my watches and just keep three, well, these are the probably the three ones that I would pick just because they work together, they meet all of my uh, needs in regards to uh, whatever life throws at me, uh, situations, events, and whatnot. I have the sporty watch, the everyday kind of carry, and then uh, something more formal for dressy occasions. And speaking of dressy occasions, why don't we start off with that first watch on my three watch collection list here, and that is the Hobring uh, Felix that I recently purchased on eBay. Bought this with uh, the full confidence. It went through the um, authentication process that eBay has now set up within the last year. I never considered eBay for watch purchases before. Uh, I do now, and uh, I've had a pleasant experience the first time around. So, you know, I'll add eBay to uh, the, the routine when I check for watches online, which is pretty much every day. Anyway, back to this watch. This watch is uh, a beautiful, um, simple, three hand watch here. You have the small seconds at the nine o'clock position. It is a manual wind. Check out the case back here. Now it is beautiful. It's not particularly ornate, but it is uh, functional and it's beautiful and it's functionality for sure. I love this watch. It is super thin, nice polished bezel. Uh, gives it a little bit of flash to it. I have it paired up on this uh, Milanese strap here just temporarily I find that it kind of looks good on it but I have some straps uh, coming in let me throw this on wrist okay okay so this is how it looks like on my six and three quarter inch wrist super comfortable again very very thin you almost don't even realize that it's there very sharp good looking tells the time uh, minimalistic uh, very very German, even though this is an Austrian made watch, uh, the watchmaker is Richard Harbring, who if you are a big fan of IWC, you would know that name. Uh, he was a legendary watchmaker for IWC, creating the Doppel chronograph there uh, movement. And he also offers that once the patent ran, ran out on IWC, he offers it uh, with one of his models uh, in his uh, in his brand here. But this is a super, super great watch. Love it. Can't wait to sport it around with my new straps and taking it out in the town whenever, on the town whenever there is an event calling for it. But it's a nice little dressy piece to have. Very, very fortunate to have this independent in my collection for sure. So that's watch number one, the formal dressy piece. Watch number two is a sporty piece. And this is the Damasco. DC 56 SI, it's a chronograph. And not only is it sporty, I find I could wear this watch pretty much on a daily basis if I wanted to. It is very, very comfortable, albeit a little bit thick, but it's not really, it's not that big of a deal uh, for me. And what I like about it, you have this ice hardened case, can really, really take a beating, and it still looks very, very good. I love this watch. Um, it is my pilot, only pilot style type watch, only chrono watch, uh, chronograph, uh, chronograph, sorry, in the collection. It's got a lot of character in my opinion. The loom is pretty good and it is solid. Value 7750 here, uh, keeps great time. And, uh, and I'll throw this on wrist. Oh yeah, that is great. I have this on the Band R Band uh, sale call strap that fits really, really well on it. Uh, it actually uh, molded around to my wrist pretty quickly. Usually these are kind of stiff when you first get them, but it feels pretty good. Um, it takes a, a beating as well as has good water resistance. The watch also has 
good water resistance on this watch, about 100 meters. And uh, just a super fun watch to wear. Like I said, a little bit on the thick side, but not too big of a deal. The, the thickness on, on some of these chronos, it doesn't really bother me as much. I don't see chronos as a daily wear, so that's why I can deal with the thickness. But this one, this one can really work as a daily wear watch for me. And, and for a time there, I was watching it, wearing it every day. It was part of the rotation. I switch out of two or three watches a day, um, but not because, um, you know, it was heavy or because it was awkward in size, just because I wanted to wear some of my other watches. So I love this watch. Nice little sporty chronograph uh, to have for sure. And it definitely fits in this three watch rotation for me. Plus I like the fact I have you know, an Austrian watch, I got a German watch, although, albeit it has a Swiss movement, but it's made in Germany. And then finally, my everyday wear, also another sports watch, but it hits the diver, and it is the Rolex Submariner No Date 124060. Now, it doesn't have a date, so, you know, a lot of people will say, well, you know, you probably want an everyday watch with a date function on it, but that's okay. I don't really need it. I love this uh, the symmetrical dial as is super super comfortable uh really it's my favorite watch to wear so well done worth every single penny i pay for it i did buy it at retail uh, the glide lock um, bracelet here and locking system is awesome uh, just a super super fun watch and just a joy to wear and i'm gonna put this on my wrist as well and this will probably be the watch that i'm gonna be wearing all day after i've done with this video Oh man, just classic and beautiful watch. Diver, sporty, everyday watch for sure. I'm lucky to have a couple of everyday watches in the collection. Not that I need a lot of everyday watches in the collection. I don't want too many uh, everyday watches in the collection because then they kind of like fight for each other for time. Uh, but, uh, but it's nice to have at least a couple here um, with different functionality, right? I got a timing bezel here, but I also have a chronograph so I can keep time uh, actually uh, there as well, but I have the date function and the date function on this one. So a lot of fun, a lot of fun. I want to just throw in an honorable mention here because I was talking to my buddy Clayton before I made this video and he was like, well, what about the Panerai? And the Panerai, the Luminor is a great watch. This is a, it's a 44 millimeter case IMR. So it is a little bit of a big boy, but titanium case wears, wears great on wrist. Um, it, it's weird because I almost like see this watch. I don't even see it as a diver, right? I mean, I know technically it is. Uh, it feels just like a big old field watch to me. I mean, I don't know, it's hard to explain. Also a manual wound movement, just a super fun watch to wear. I'm just really blessed to have uh, a couple of these watches in my collection for sure. I love them. But anyway, guys, here is my three piece collection. Let me know what you guys think. What's in your core three piece collection three pieces that you couldn't live without or that at least they meet every single occasion in your life uh, put a comment below love to hear it and i'll see you guys in the next video if my channel is new to you and you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and click that bell icon to get updates when i upload new videos i love making these videos and i hope you like them too and also if you want to support the channel please buy me a cup of coffee. The link is in the description. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.